Hello guys, I'm out here with another gameplay review, and today I will talk about the Pibon exclusive, real great Crossbone Gundam X2 from Mobile Suit Crossbone Gundam series. Firstly, I would like to say Merry Christmas for you who celebrate it. Now we have a winter holiday in Japan, and I've been so busy lately, so I don't have much time <laughs> for gunpla. But anyway, I can make this review uh, eventually. And as usual, before I start it with the review, I would like to inform you that the price of this kit is uh, 3,190 Japanese yen in Japan. And um, I'm sure most of you uh, have been aware that this kit is the first variation of the real great crossbone gun x1 which was released earlier so in order to make this review simple and concise i will focus more on the new stuffs which came with this kit and the differences between the x2 and the crossbone gun x1 which was released earlier okay okay so for the start i will talk about the accessories first this kit came with everything the Crossbone Gundam X1 came with earlier. For example, there are two beam sabers, buster gun, a beam zamber, two chains for scissor anchors, heat daggers, and several beam effect parts for brand marker and beam shield. And of course, similar with Crossbone Gundam X1, this kit also came with a badass anti-beam clock. Crossbone Gundam X2, however, have a new additional weapon came with it. And you, I think you already know that. Uh, it's the shot lancer which is a uh, really really cool the addition of this weapon makes the x2 has slightly more gimmicks compared to the x1 and other than those accessories you also got a bunch of spare parts such as extra forehead and skull parts cockpit part leg armors and handguard parts and finally this cat came with a sheet of water slide decals which replaced the mocking stickers as the crossbow gun x1 and this is how the X2 looks like after being panel line and all water decals applied onto it. I also gave it one layer of flat top coat for the better finish. As you can see, it sure looks badass with a dark color seam and short lancer. Anyway, one thing I would like to point out is, most of the water decals are hardly noticeable because the red color was not contrast enough with X2 dark theme. So, I think Bandai should give this kit more decals with white color or at least give it brighter red decals. If you decide to use the water decals on this kit, I recommend you to add mark softer after applying them, especially for the crossbone vanguard emblem on the chest to make it stick to the curved surface more. Now let's compare X2 with the X1. For the head, you can see that X2 has more elaborate vivins compared to the X1. The faceplate also doesn't have slits as the X1. Of course, the open mouth gimmick is still available for the X1. Other than the head, colors, and short lancer, I don't think there are other differences between the two. And similar with the X1, the X2 also has pretty good articulation and easy for posing. The X2 Sword Lancer has a handle which could be configured to make the hands attached to it easier. It also could be moved forward and backward freely without any problem. Normally, each hand of either X1 or X2 has a pack connector which allows them to hold the weapons firmly. While this is a good thing, that also means that hands could not use to grab other weapons without a pack hole on it. So, if you want to grab Sword Lancer, other than the using the handle, for example, on the bar at the end of it, you will not be able to do that with those hands type. This is, however, still could be fixed. So remember, this kit has a bunch of spare parts for the handguard parts. So just take two of them and cut the peg for each hand, around two thirds of its total length, and problem solved. Okay, now the verdict. I think this kit is pretty good. In my opinion, it is slightly better than X1 in terms of accessories and gimmicks. The colors and water slides were okay, except for some red decals which were not easily noticeable by eyes. The build was more or less similar with X1 with lots of tiny parts, so be very careful when you build it. 
If you like Crossbone Gundam series, I recommend you to have the X2, post it together with the X1, and make some badass combat scenes. So that's all for the review for Real Great Crossbone Gundam X2, and see you soon on another review video. So thanks for watching, and see you soon.